Welcome everyone to another episode of the MGN channel. I am your host Cornish. Let's talk about art and a wonderful game called Occupy White Walls. Now I have been waiting so long to try and get this out and I this is one of those games that really really needs to get out more and um, for you guys to try out. Do you like Roller Coaster Tycoon? Well this game is like an art gallery style typhoon game. I did a review on it years ago, and I will give you a segment about Occupy White Walls. Occupy White Walls is a free-to-play sandbox builder with a hint of MMO where you build your own art gallery in any way possible. With currently over 3,500 art paintings and more of what people in the community have made, it gives you a massive variety of what themes you want to make in your gallery. Whether if it's classic paintings, contemporary artists, photography, or current generation art, many more different styles of art pictures await in this game. Also a fun fact about this game, it got Best MMO 2018 in Alpha Beta Game Website. And also has been praised by Stephen Fry himself. So my personal gameplay experience of it, well, <laughs> oh my god, where do I begin? So the first thing I saw on the, uh, the Steam page they had, I was not thinking much of it at the time, and I decided to play it to see what it was like, and I've never been so addicted to a game in my life. The cool thing about Occupy White Walls and building your own art gallery and museum, and it shows how do you express yourself as a builder in in games and you can jump into other people's galleries and just check it out and th this is why i love about the game each player expresses their own building ways their ideas their aura the, the how they feel there is so much to build there's so much things you can use to build your own museum and to see other people build their own museum is absolutely amazing see them express their vision in uh, in stuff like that is absolutely incredible honestly it's absolutely incredible another cool feature i love on occupy white wall is the mosaics now you could create so much cool stuff with that you can do you can do 8 bit retro stuff uh, you know um, paint a lot of things on the mosaic thing as an 8 bit or use neon lights and it's it's wonderful and for people who like to do their own little thing that's even better the structures in the game there is i've i've lost count how many there were i i had it in my head but there is so much structures buildings furniture and other pieces lighting equipment in the game to build the perfect museum not to mention the uh the market they have now let's talk about quickly with the market um there are no microtransactions in the game itself you end up uh open when you open up your museum these ais come and they look like they're people looking at an art gallery each ai pays uh, a certain amount of i would call i'd like to call them cubes and you can use those cubes amount to go to the store and buy other structures and remember, like I said, no microtransactions for destructures, that's for sure. Another thing in the gameplay, because they've described it as an MMO, now the, how the MMO works in the game is you go to other people's galleries or any other places, or even look at the AI Daisy, which will come down to the interview very soon about Daisy. Whatever art galleries you use for that money, you can use to level up your game and when you level up the game you can unlock different uh, structures and furniture uh, I think currently at the moment ma it's max 30 but even when you get max 30 they're also adding new structures in for the level 30 so there's no fighting or anything it's building an art gallery looking at wonderful paintings that people have actually drawn and expressing your vision as a builder as i said with buildings of structures furniture and stuff you can also customize the sky you can have that synth wave look you can have that art look you can have a nightlight look you can like be in space look um there's many many more
And now here's the next segment of the interview. This is a really good opportunity for you guys to check out this interview if you're an art fanatic on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. This is perfect for you guys. You've seriously got to watch this as this is important for anyone who wants to put their art pieces online and to have a lot of people check it out. Welcome everyone, uh, we are here with Prime, one of the uh, developers for, well, the developer for Occupy White Walls. Um, thank you for taking your time and opportunity to let me have a chat about your game. For new players who haven't seen the game, uh, what is Occupy Wa White Walls for all these newcomers? Um, cool. First of all, thank you, Cornish, and I just want to say that I'm, 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 you know, I'm but one developer out of about two. Oh. <laughs> a big team, and you know, we're working hard. There's a lot of big community volunteers, you know, so it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a movement, really. Cool. Um, but yes, how would I describe Occupy White Walls to new players? So it's, um, I would say, it's the best building game you've never heard of. Mm -hmm. um, technically, it's a game about building art galleries and museums, which might sound kind of boring. But uh, the cool thing about art is that it's it's very wide and original and creative. And uh, as you know, and I'm sure you're yes. Uh, the galleries people build are just mind-blowing spaces, quite possibly the most interesting things you can kind of explore online. Mm -hmm. uh, the building is also very cool. I hope you'd agree. We have a ton of assets. Uh, we really like architecture, so there's a lot of styles, very accurately reproduced, you know, unreal, all its glory. Yeah. Um, it's, also, <clears throat> it's also a terrific uh, community, right? I mm -hmm. should say. Uh, people are genuinely nice. It's kind of relaxing to hang out there, uh, intelligent, grown-up conversation. It's almost like it's not an online game. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. No, that's um, right. And lastly, there is, of course, art. You know, you might or your listeners might not think of themselves as kind of artsy people, uh, which is absolutely fine. We have over 14,000 artworks in our collection, and they keep growing, both uh, old classic stuff, uh, you know, Renaissance, Impressionist, etc., and a lot of cool new modern stuff, contemporary. And what's really cool is that um, we developed this amazing AI we call Daisy. That basically, uh, I got a question for that. <laughs> on your taste in art, uh -huh. um, if it's uh, and so you don't actually need to know what art you like, it could learn and start showing you more and more relevant stuff. And so, for example, the average player who says uh, people always say they're gamers, they're not artsy, they're never like really interested. Now they have 800 artworks in their collection. Just to put this in perspective, the Tate Modern has a thousand on display. Wow. Right? Yeah. So every gamer can be like the Tate Modern. Uh, and we already see this, you know, um, the gallery space people built so far is equivalent, is about 32 square kilometers, which is equivalent to um, 440 times the Louvre or something like that. Oh, damn. Is really cool. And I, love this <laughs> idea. I, I personally find it super exciting that uh, the idea that an online game, a virtual world, can affect and revolutionize the stuffy old world of art. Yeah. Like they never expected this in the Renaissance, right? Yeah, right. And, and for example, what we do at the National Gallery is a terrific example of that. You know, we nicked the entire National Gallery, including the architecture, and there's a good chance they didn't even realize like what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Just sitting there in a boardroom, a bunch of old people, <laughs> and like, literally, like, they did what? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's quite funny because when I first played Occupy White Walls, I was not expecting of how much of a good game it was. And, uh, and there was a little joke about that. <laughs> and I got so hooked onto it. it. The thing with Occupy White Walls, especially now, it's like um, for people who are actually, don't, you know, who are not into the art style and more into the building and, you know, making something. It's kind of like... It's kind of a mixed style of like uh, a tycoon game. So, you know, you get more money to uh, build better things. You know, you also level up when you buy other paintings, etc., etc. You know, and that, that's what people need to see a little bit more. And uh, that's why I think this would be perfect to try and get this out and see what it's like. So, yeah, I, I love the game. So, I'm, 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 I was it? I've been here for, we, we, we've been, I've been playing it for a while and I still got it in my uh, Steam store, like Steam. Uh, you know my library and i'll still come on time down to just to see how it is and uh have come up with some crazy new ideas because one of my art galleries was insp uh, inspired by a a place called flambart in helston uh in cornwall and they have this they have this 
big massive like warehouse thing and inside it it stands out to have like loads of houses from like Victorian and it, ju it just looks really good and that's how I got my inspiration as like you're going down the street in Victoria uh, you know and all sorts it, it yeah it's wonderful uh, the next question I'd like to ask uh, what gives you the idea of making this game and what inspired you because I never uh, thought, you know, as I said I've never thought I'd be addicted to building museums that's for sure yeah no that's cool uh, thank you um so um, uh, so I've always been a gamer, and um, uh, I'm not especially artsy, by the way. I studied uh, graphic design university. I did a number mm -hmm. of masters in St. Martin's, but not really like a big art uh, person. Um, basically, I, I want to do a game, uh, set up a games company, and we were thinking about kind of original ideas. And you yeah. know, as you know, uh, there's there's a lot of games about you know the same subjects really. Yeah. And I just randomly came across the fact that there were no games about art, which sounds really strange. You know, like literally we could find one. You know, from the 90s on a CD-ROM. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so that was really weird. So we started looking into why that. And um, if we can get serious for a minute, Jamie. Mm -hmm. um, art is about um, politics, not politics in the sense of Tories, etc., but in a sense of, you know, who gets to see what, who gets to show what to whom, you know? Yeah. For example, why did they not build a tech modern in Cornwall mm. or Bradford, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh. So it's, it's like this whole world that's full of gatekeepers and, you know, uh, people that decide uh, what is the taste and who gets to be seen and blah 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 mm -hmm. so um so uh so the more we dug into this the more we realized that a uh it could be kind of totally revolutionized and b the right of doing this is with an online game which is totally like out there um if you want i can go into a bit more detail um so basically if you look at the art world you can think there's really kind of three components right mm -hmm. so long as we have museums collections they are actually good. I have to say, most of the people I met there are like, they have good intentions. They really kind of like art and they want to try, they're really trying and thinking about kind of making it more accessible and getting young people in. But yeah. They have a lot of problems, uh, mainly because they are largely government organizations. They, like, they're not going to have any innovation coming out of there. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, they're also obviously strapped for budgets and stuff. And mainly, uh, now of course, with COVID, most, many are actually closed or uh, you know, half open. But the biggest problem for them is that, I don't know if you know, but they just don't have space. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, yeah, exactly. 5% of their art collection on average, which is a real shame. Um, then we move on, we have artists. I'm sure you have a few friends like that. Jamie. Yes, we well, actually, you know, we do. Recently, um, one of my one of my followers has been showing me some of his art creations of uh, drawings he's been doing, and they're kind of like, uh, well, he likes to do cheaters a lot. <laughs> Let's just say that. And some of his stuff he's uh, I've seen him do is just absolutely crazy. Fantastic. So, uh, so that's that's for example a good example. Mm -hmm. So, so somebody like that or uh, would really struggle to get any kind of gallery to display their works. Even even successful artists that have displayed in galleries, they find it very disappointing. You know, it's very hard to show their artworks to everybody, but art is very individual. It's hard to relate to. It's very frustrating. Mm. Um, uh, so, and lastly, of course, there's the public. There's people, you know. For example, Jamie, why don't you? Well, you probably do have an art collection the size of the table. But why most of your mates don't, you know? Why, why, what's the difference, you know? We yeah. have, uh, we'll even a golden age of culture. You know, you can have access to whatever music, movies, games you want on whatever platform and whatever business model. And people consume more culture than at any time in history. Yeah, if I, if, if, if I said to my friends, do you know who Picasso is? They would not know a bloody thing, unfortunately. <laughs> they, they would, that's, that's my, no, you know, it's, less, it's hard nowadays with the imagination of people. Because if someone, like nowadays, if someone goes to an art gallery and I, I, I if I say, for instance, I took my brother to an art gallery. Um, well, he oh, actually, that's a bit of a tough question because he, he's an artist and he likes to do art himself now. <laughs> well, if he was a lot younger, he would find that very boring. But for me, I'd find a vision and I'd find the picture, even if it's uh, like a di different types of art style. You know, you could see the whole like detail of this person who's put, you know, put through in. Our solution is, so basically the problem is this, you know, Museums struggle to get young people in or keep them, etc. And let's be honest, you don't know anybody, I don't know anybody that sits at home, you know, on a Friday night a little bit drunk and saying, yeah, let's go to an art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to play, you know, PlayStation or Netflix or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, um, 
So museums are kind of struggling, and basically, almost by definition, every person who walks in won't like most of the art you see. Okay? Yeah. Because they have only so much space, they can't complete it all the time. And the same thing for, um, for you know, the public, for artists. So basically, our great idea was actually um, developing Daisy, which is this AI that just shows you art that you're going to like. It's less likely to show you art that you want. And this is for you individually or for me or for everybody in the place. And also, as an artist, this is just the other side of the coin, you know? So if you upload your artwork to the game, which, by the way, now it's open, so everybody can upload the art, um, the, the AI learns about it and pitches it to people who might like it. See, so for you, you discover something that's awesome, and and for them, they found it, uh, um, an artist. Have you seen Cultura recently, Jamie? Mm, no, I don't believe oh, I have. Let me show my screen for a second. This is uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. This is a guy called Michael Archibald. He's a Canadian painter. He's a nice guy. That's his Instagram. It's full of art and cats and you know Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. Now notice this thing. He's got 250 followers, which is not a lot, right? Yeah. How many do you have, by the way? Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> give me two seconds uh, to check <laughs> on <laughs> my... In... Okay, that's fine. Never mind. So, I think I got about 100 or so. Just a, just a okay, big okay, rough guess. Right. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that much, but he's extended. Mm -hmm. Now, notice that's weird that in his bio, he says SC and Occupy Whitehall, which is interesting, right? Now, Michael is one of the early players, and about two years ago, he asked and we let him upload 20 artworks. At the time, it wasn't like you can't just go and upload and stuff. So... This is a really cool website called Cultura. It's a part of the game. It shows you art in the game, so you can look for any artist and see real-time stats. So I'm typing in Michael, but you can equally find, you know, Van Gogh or whatever. Now, let's see how Michael Archibald is doing, right? Yep. So, sorry, it takes a bit to load. It should be faster from tomorrow. Check out these stats. So 20 artworks were bought 21 and a half thousand times by over wow. 7,000 individual people, players. And for each artwork, you can click on the link and see all the comments. Look at this. No way. It's just like, and there are many, many like this. And this is the power of AI, you know? Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, if this guy, who's a nice guy, you know, he's got 250 followers on Instagram, but 7,000 in the game, then I'm guessing most of them did not hear about him from Instagram, but rather discovered him in the game. Wow. And uh, there's another cool guy. <laughs> I'll show you, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, he's um, this guy is a young Dutch artist, right? Yeah. He's actually more popular in Occupy White Walls than Van Gogh, you know? <laughs> if you count for the numbers, he's got this kind of Oh, I've yeah. seen some of his work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's magnificent. I think I got a few in my gallery. Yeah, this is, I think, the whole trick of what you do, you know? Like, because the problem with art is that they try to educate you, they try to tell you what to do. Yeah. This. You know, we don't even try to educate people. You know what then happens? People are curious themselves. Mm -hmm. They go. I know a lot of players that go, you know, play the game and have a Wikipedia on the side. They read more about, you know, artists that interest them, about people they discover. Like, you know, if you don't tell people what to do, they kind of think for themselves. Imagine that. Yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's like when I said to the community earlier today, uh, when I was in Occupy White Walls, the fact that people have come up with a load of uh, creative ideas of, uh, of their own music and what their point is is always different when I jump when I jump into a different gallery and that just makes it absolutely wonderful and personally yeah, the yeah. best thing because it, it also expresses a lot of um, a lot of people's aura I guess <laughs> I think that's the yeah. word I'm looking for yeah, so yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely and this is so so this is what's cool about our world. so we like we set up the scene right mm -hmm. we get the art we put the AI we got the assets but the players are actually building the artiverse, you know? This is like the content in a way. Yeah. And, and this is this is amazing. Like we are every day we are surprised to see what people do. And you won't believe the shit they but we put toilet paper there as a joke when the like back in March, you know? Yeah. And and turns out we like you can use it to float artworks everywhere. Yeah, so that's what I did with the uh, butterflies in the uh, one of the other galleries for the Alice in Wonderland inspiration. Yeah, yeah. So apparently toilet paper is all the shit and mm -hmm. now you can do really crazy stuff with it. Yeah. Uh, and again, this, none of this was, was intended. Um, yeah, like I'm, I'm telling you, like as developers, every day we see something somebody did and we're like, how the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so another, another question I ask, um, this is, a, I wouldn't say a tough one, but yeah, this is the one which I was a bit skeptical to ask. So at this current, it's a free to play game. Are you planning any marketplace purchase such as paid skins or other building materials? 
Um, yeah, there will at one point, at some point, there will be kind of uh, premium assets to buy. Mm -hmm. um, probably, uh, you know, cosmetic stuff, uh, special hats, whatever, um, you know, that kind of thing, special effects maybe. But the idea is that we always, um, we genuinely want to have a free platform for art. You know, we're always talking about like, imagine the ideal player is like a teenager, you know, she could be in Brazil or yeah. in Russia or indeed Cornwall. And, 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 and she, you know, she should be, she's creative. She should have access to everything. Uh, one of the things that's the most depressing about art is that it is like currently mostly for billionaires, you know? Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, so we will always keep the core game free, really. Mm -hmm. So you don't actually have to, to, to spend money to promote it. Obviously at some point, you know, we need to kind of pay salaries and servers and stuff like that. But so there will have to be something in between. Yeah. But, um, but we kind of really, you know, I think you've seen on a website, we have this concept of fair to play. So like, we don't want to like be kind of mean and cynical, and, you know, pay to win and that kind of stuff. So uh -huh. Occupy White Walls just had a major update, as I saw. Um, one of them is the art uploads, which we talked about earlier. Could you tell me more about that, please? The art uploads? Um, yeah. So basically, uh, so from the start, we've had uh, a lot of people, uh, players and others, uh, you know, they see what we do and they want to, uh, they want to participate. Mm -hmm. Um, at, at, um, at the very base, at the very basic, uh, level, um, imagine if you're an artist and you just want to have this really fancy, posh, nice, elegant gallery, mm -hmm. um, it's borderline impossible. You know, even if you do get into, you know, some, one of those Soho galleries, it's just some dead room in a basement, really. Yeah. Impressive. Not only that, if you imagine that, let's say you were very inspired by Monet, for example, you know, mm -hmm. and in the real world, you will never be able to actually have a Monet in that room to show where the inspiration came from. Yeah. Here we can, you know, it's like an art fantasy land. Um, so, uh, yeah, so basically we opened up art uploads. Um, we charge a small fee of uh, $9 per art upload. It's mm -hmm. one of fee. Um, some people think it's expensive, uh, which is of course legitimate. Uh, we, we thought a lot about this and um, first of all, obviously we need to pay for servers and stuff. Like this AI is ridiculously expensive. We have exactly, that's understandable, yeah. And, and, uh, and also, you know, pay for, um, you know, <laughs> the occasional coffee. But um, mainly because, you know, one of the things for us is that we don't want to judge the art. I don't want to sit here and be like a committee saying this is good, this is bad. Because one of the things we know from the AI and from the data is that even if we don't like an artwork, there may well be many others who do and vice versa, right? People yeah. Stuff I like. So I don't want to sit here and say this is good, this is bad. Mm -hmm. If somebody's an artist and is saying, you know, this is my art, I want to put it up there, then we're not going to argue with them. Yeah. Uh, having said that, it is still the internet, you know, so we don't want to get like a ton of dick pics or, you know, words. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Imagine, imagine somebody uploading this and saying this is my art. It's going to be a Wow. <laughs> like, no, seriously, we've discussed this. So we think this is sort of a good medium. Um, if you ask me, I think it's also, it's actually, it's a terrific uh, value for artists. And I have to say that people have been kind of enthusiastic about this. So we're pretty pleased with that. Um, because you see, if you think about it, if you're an artist, let's say, and you want to promote your art, like, what does it mean? You want to reach out to people. So you can post it on Instagram, you know, but how many followers do you have on Instagram? Exactly, it's half of them. Instagram a good platform for art anyway, you know? You get this tiny square, it's next to, you know, some half-dressed influencer and then like so the, and the focus of the whole platform is to sell ads not to promote your art mm -hmm. you know? yeah personally so, I, personally i think uh nine dollars is absolutely fantastic to get yourself spread out and help other people as well and also you know have loads of lover like there's so many well as you saw or as i saw on the site so many people uh will take time to at least what you know see this and other art inspirations and stuff which is absolutely yeah. incredible for nine for nine dollars it's like i think it's like well, english money like fiverr or something to the post something that's yeah, going to be yeah. there for life you know, <laughs> no, yes, no, yes, no. i mean i can see some people saying it's expensive you know if you live in brazil or in russia for example mm. i got another question here which is about the uh, different artists so we you know we've got like different game artists and other uh, other types of art what kind of artists are you looking for for the occupy white walls anyway uh, to participate on the platform? Yeah. Uh, anybody. So at the moment we're, um, we support only 2D images, so paintings, photographs, stuff like that. And there's a lot of really cool photograph, uh, photography recently. Um, we hope to expand this, so I can't tell you exactly when, because I don't know. <laughs> I would like to find out. <laughs> yeah, but, it's fine. Um, music would get there hopefully soon. 
Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, videos, uh, even you know, animated gifs are like an art form. You know, hey, we think about artists like special people. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they are sure talented, but fundamentally, it's it's a basic human trait being creative. You know, and that's when it comes down to the inspiration of the people who've built different art galleries. Yeah. Mm. Uh, like, um, was it for one of my one of my houses in the Occupy White Walls? I built an arcade place by using a couple of things in Muzik's stuff. So it looks like there's arcade walls, jack slot machines, a dance dance revolution, you know, and that stuff like that. I, you know, I I could never do, but getting that idea out and having it being that easy as well is is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And I and a lot of people always go to that <laughs> that section and they just say how how a creative is. Uh, the final question, and uh, I'm going to try and be s cheeky on this one. Is there any future content you would like? Would you like to tease us about? You know, are you putting any new updates in which you haven't said and might be might tease us with a little in the video? Oh right. Um, oh okay. I see. So like future updates. Okay, can we, can we, can we... No, you're all right, man. <laughs> we did actually do something really strange. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but we actually did a stream with a real um, gallery creator, somebody who was uh, was actually pretty famous. He used to work in the National Gallery and. Get did you put that on Facebook at one point? Because I believe yeah, I jumped. I jumped in on that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So and, and this guy was going this, doing this stream about Cezanne. It was super popular, tons of people saw that. Mm. And, and the guy was just going around talking, and it's really interesting when you hear like interesting stuff. Yeah. But it's so weird to see him walking around the virtual gallery and just talking normally like he would in a, in a normal museum. Um, yeah, we always work on stuff. Uh, we don't really talk about updates because, to be absolutely honest with you, uh, first of all, we ourselves don't really know when they're going to be ready. <laughs> yeah, totally understandable, right? Especially something like this. You, you know, you do one update and kind of break something else that's totally unrelated, but obviously got broken. So you need to fix that and that fix breaks something else. Oh, <laughs> so wow. it's like, it can be a lot of, a lot of fun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, um, I think you know us, you, we like to surprise people. We always, mm. uh, we're always working on stuff. We always, um, there will be an update like tomorrow, by the way. Small one, but we, we're mm. fixing a lot of bugs, we're polishing a lot of assets. I remember seeing on the Discord people were going on about, oh, this would be great if it was VR or so. And I somewhat agree, a virtual reality uh, art gallery to explore. But it, with that being said, it's very hard to, uh, you know, I totally understand you guys. It's very hard to get that kind of thing in there, you know? Yeah, we, we might do VR one day. If you ask me, I think VR is just not mature enough today. Mm, yeah. I understand this to all those people that walk around saying, let's do VR. Um, or for the matter of blockchain, you know? <laughs> it's more, no, seriously, it's more like, it's more of a, of a question for help. It's mm -hmm. more like, I put this, you know, gaming rig and this headset and there's not much for me to play. Yeah. Like, why does nobody come in and says, let's do a Switch version of Occupy White Walls? Yeah, that's true. Kids, you know? Yeah. So, it's, it's a bit too, I think, like, we still have a couple of years, but obviously, look, we're using Unreal, we're, uh, we're also working closely with NVIDIA, I don't know if you know, we're like in their startup program, so maybe mm -hmm. one day with RTX. I think I remember um, you posting something about that, uh, working with NVIDIA. Uh, did you put that on Twitter as well? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. I think you yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. They're, they're very switched on NVIDIA. Yeah. Well, I must say, it's been an absolute privilege and really really interesting having a chat with you prime i, I really really appreciate everything guys um i will post everything in the uh description of their website steam page discord they have a wonderful wonderful community um uh, everything i we've talked about will be all posted in the description down below thank you very much again for taking your time to have a chat no no my pleasure always <laughs> all right and that is done <laughs> All right, and that is it. That was that was one of the coolest interviews I've done. And I tell you what, I've got high respects for the guy. The the stuff we were talking about is so real, is unreal. <laughs> so real, it's unreal. <laughs> Hearing all that shows how much of a good developer and game can be. The fact that he's willing to help artists out as well as give people a game for free. Man, you can't complain about that. As for me personally, this is one of the best free-to-play games I've played. And... Oh, mate, 
Dude. God. Look, I, if, if you've come this far, right, just take an opportunity chance to just go, search Occupy White Walls on Steam or just go down the links below and download it. Give yourself an hour to play on that game and you'll be properly hooked on it. No time whatsoever. We're also going to put their Discord down there because there is so many artists from different types are there chatting away and supporting each other. There is no... no I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going to point this one out. There is n like... As everyone in that Discord mostly are artists, there are no judgmental people there at all. For anyone who is, does drawing or even just do screenshots of their place in the game, everyone is so w humbled and welcome. And, dude, this is a game you need to try. <laughs> and that is it for Occupy White Walls. Thank you so much for watching another episode. If you've come this far, I appreciate the heck out of you. Put the comments down below and tell me what you think and will you be giving it a try? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit a like if you enjoyed this video and I will be gone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. You take care and have a wonderful day.